with the changing of the guard at Windsor Castle. Lots of bear skin, bear hats, bear skin hats. No. We are at Windsor Castle, and this is the path through the trees that leads right up to the castle. There, you can see the different parts of the castle and the town surrounding the castle, as well as a loud jet plane that just rudely happens to be flying overhead at this moment when I'm making this video. So we're going to have about an hour to explore, and then we'll move on to our next destination, which is Stonehenge. Let's go see that famous site in London while, uh, you know, being a horse for this girl, as I often am. <laughs> This is the Greenwich Royal Observatory. We just walked up a pretty steep path to get to this vantage point. A beautiful view near the evening of Greenwich. So we have a big massive statue up there and a not so statue of George here with a nice view of the scene. And the Royal Observatory, which is right there, it's where they study the stars, the cosmos. And this is my beautiful wife. We're studying her right now. How's the stars, mommy? <laughs> this is the Royal Observatory. We're going to be studying the cosmos. I see. And you are my star. So I'm studying my beautiful star. Can you take a photo of me? Yes, of course we can. Here we go. No, 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 this one. There is my beautiful star in the sky. Very nice. <laughs> Here's my other little star. Daenerys. Say hi Daenerys. Oh. Okay. There's an impressive statue of what I thought was Zeus, but it's a Greek warrior? A London warrior? I don't know. It's the olden times. Hard to read the inscription. But yeah, here we are in Hyde Park to see this statue. Hyde Park is one of the many parks in the center of London. There's my troop, my company of companions. There's the city just on the other side of that road. But yeah, he's got his armor, he's got his shield and his short sword. Or is that just a sword? Very impressive. Today we continue our journey through London and we're heading to Madame Tussaud and then the Regent's Park. All right, there's the statue. Eh. I don't quite have those abs, but uh, yeah, something to look, something to strive for. A good goal, good role model. Ugh. All right. Here we are in the park with people cycling, lots of people walking, massive park. Look at the size of this place. Trees everywhere. Beautiful. And the path is like got trees on either side. Very nicely designed. Yeah, very fresh air. <sighs> and Quite a nice experience here in London. As we continue walking, we've been walking a lot, like 10 kilometers a day. No kidding. <laughs> There's lots of walking here. We prefer that over taking the car. You hear that sound of the wind in the trees through the leaves? It's like a murmur. Pretty nice. Peaceful, calming, nature, something we don't get in Dubai, at least not so much of it. All right, let's go. We are in Regent's Park, which has a nice waterway, people jogging, oh, right there. Other people sitting. Hi, Daenerys. Daenerys has been riding on my shoulders a lot. Of course, me. 
walking through this park. It's a big park. It's actually one of the biggest we've yet seen, again, in the middle of London. And it's beautiful to have this nature in your doorstep. I mean, look, these guys living across the street have a perpetual view of this park, which is right here. Very nice. Let's explore. Some beautiful flowers in Regent's Park. And there's a nice waterway, bigger water here, where you can see the path on either side. And we just walked across a bridge, little footbridge. There's my troop. Right there is the bridge. Yeah. We continue walking. Fix my hair. We continue walking along the park, Regent's Park in London. Let's keep going. These two are doing horsey now, so I don't have to pick up Daenerys anymore. Hey, Dad, don't. Okay, it's a bit windy. More of Regent's Park. Now, one thing that surprised me is that their washrooms are in this little black cave. <laughs> this is the ladies' washroom. The men's washroom is just down there. But it's pretty dark and narrow path, surprising. But everything else is pretty impressive here. And it's quite a variety of scene, scenes. There's the water, then there's the boats on the water. They have a, like a man-made lake. And then they have all these different flowers, and they have these big open field areas. Everything is just beautiful. And it's a very large park. I don't think we're going to walk through the whole thing, but at least this is a good chunk of it that you're seeing in this video. This is Queen Mary's Rose Gardens, where we have different roses in each section. Here are the red roses. Here are the yellow roses. And it's called Keep Smiling, this zone. These are called Keep Smiling. And each section has a different rose. It's quite interesting to see such a variety. Pink roses, purple roses, magenta roses, orange, red, orange, pink roses, another yellow rose called Garden Glory. Garden Glory. Orange roses. <laughs> you get the theme. Every color possible. And this is rock and roll. Yeah. So that's Rosemary's Ro uh, Queen Mary's Rose Gardens. Pretty cool. I really like the color of these purple flowers. They have a rich, deep purple that I haven't seen before. Very nice. And there's also some spiky flowers right there. What are those, like cactus flowers? That's interesting. Yeah, this is still in the Queen Mary's Rose Gardens with all the different colored roses. Now with some purple flowers in the distance there. A nice surprise. This is the back side of the gardens. All right, let's keep going. These narrow paths through the trees, nice little exploration and I think we lost my wife somewhere <laughs> where did she go so you can also get lost in these paths apparently here's a little exit we found Daenerys I don't see Xenia. Nice big tree. 
some statue of a bird. Yes, maybe an eagle or a heron or a swan. No, not a swan. All right, let's go keep looking for mummy. Can't leave her here in London by herself.